Do you like to give or receive? <laughs> this is awkward. Gotta go and make this money, don't let this money make you. And keep that shit 100 with everything. Hey guys, well I said in my last, well not last video, but one of my last videos that I was going to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Well, I know Friday we ended up doing something. That's why I didn't post a video. And then um, yesterday was one year for Braxton. So I was all types of messed up. I did I couldn't even record a video. So today I'm going to do the um, questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. There's more questions that keep coming once I'm done. Like after this video is already posted or whatever. I'll just do a part two. But a lot of questions are the same and a lot of them I'm not answering because I've answered them millions of times. And I'm not being mean, but it just shows the people who watch my videos and the people who don't. Like there was a couple people um, on here that replied to other people saying she already answered that question. I'm going to go ahead and start from the top. Um... The first question is, what YouTubers would you like to meet slash do a video with? Um, I want to meet Chris and Queen, Damien and Bianca, um, Ashley and Corey. There's a lot of people I want to meet and all the people that I want to meet I would do a video with. Um, I would do a video with anybody, like big YouTubers, if they asked me to. And then I don't really know anybody um personally that does videos like i mean there i think there's maybe one or two people that hopped on youtube um that i went to school with but i wouldn't really do videos with them because i don't i didn't talk to them in school and when i people started finding out like in my city that i had a youtube that's when people was like would come to me talking about can you give me a shout out can you give me a shout out can i do a video with you put me in your video blah 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 like no if i didn't talk to you in school i'm not going to talk to you outside of school just because i'm on the internet i'm trying to think because i'm subscribed to a lot of people but i would i want to meet roman outwood but i don't think uh i would do a video with him <laughs> But it would be cool to meet him. So, what do you put? What do you put or do to your hair to get it to grow so long? Um, I honestly, my hair is not really long anymore. Um, I got my dead ends cut, so it made it like super short, and it still hasn't grown fully out yet. But recently, I like I put leave-in conditioner in it. But recently, y'all don't think I'm crazy, but recently. I would put in baby lotion in my hair, and the reason why is because I can put baby lotion in my hair, sleep on it, wake up, and there will be no tangles in my hair. My hair will be super soft. Um, so recently, I've just been putting baby baby lotion, like regular in the pink bottle. That's what I've been putting in my hair. Do you see yourself marrying Neil? What's your favorite thing about Neil's and Bray's relationship? When will you do a meet and greet? Um, I already answered the whole marriage thing. Me and Neil's not getting married. I mean, right now, our in our minds, like, we're not getting married because we both, like I said this in a previous video, but we both um, are on the same page with marriage. You can be with somebody for the rest of your life without getting married. Um, to me, I feel like the government or whoever made this up, the whole marriage thing, um... I don't know. I feel like it's just a way to get more money um, because, you know, people go to the courthouse and pay to get married just to get a piece of paper that says they're married. Like, to me, that's just stupid because me and Neil can be together forever without being married. I don't have to have his last name. Like, that doesn't bother me. And if we want to do that, we can go to the courthouse and get married if that's what we end up wanting to do. But as of right now... Our mindset is we don't have to pay to be together forever. So, the next question on that one was, what's your favorite thing about Neil and Bray's relationship? Um, Neil came in when Neil came into my life. Um, from the jump, he interacted with Braylon. He didn't put her like on the outskirt. It was it, even now. 
he'll come home and go straight to Braylon, go hug and kiss Braylon, or like before me. So that just shows me that he cares about her. And I don't know, um, it makes me very, very happy the way he is with her um, because he doesn't have to be like that. He doesn't have to be here with us, but he chooses to. So it just, I don't know. I'm very, like everything that he does with Brantley is my favorite. <laughs> so they aggravate each other, they play with each other, they kiss each other, they hug each other. And will you do a meet and greet? Honestly, there's been two times where I've been in Atlanta and I've tried to do meet and greets. Um, but my subscribers are so young, people can't drive, people can't get their parents to drive them. So I just kind of stopped with the whole meet and greet thing because it's just not working out right now. Um, I don't have, I have a lot of subscribers, but I don't have enough older subscribers like that can drive to meet me or drive to my, where I'm at. Or something but out of Georgia I haven't tried to have a meet and greet like here in Alabama I don't even think there's a lot of people who watch me I don't know if there's any people who watch me out here but I don't know when I get more people I'll do a meet and greet um are you coming to UK I wish I could I mean like now I can't but I would love to come there, honestly. I want to go everywhere. If you and Neil could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? What is Bray's favorite movie? P.S. Love you guys. Keep shining. We love you too. And, um, I want to go, what is that place? Uh, me and Neil were talking about it. I've seen it on Facebook. It's out of, it's not here. It's out of the country. But, I can't remember it. I'll put it in the video if I can remember it. I'll have to ask them. What is Barry's favorite movie? She doesn't really watch movies. She she watches um, TV shows. But her favorite movie that she will actually sit down and watch the whole thing is Trolls. She loves Trolls. Where would you want to move if you left Alabama? I've already answered this question also. And Georgia. I want... Well, I am moving to Georgia. Um... Of course, I don't have a set date yet. We're just saving money to get there. But it's either going to be at the end of this month. I mean, sorry. The end of this year or the beginning of next year. So, it's close. So, whoever's in Georgia, comment Georgia <laughs> in the comments. There's a lot of, when are you and Neil get married? Would you and Neil get married? Like, there's a lot of those questions. Um, do you and Neil want kids together in the future? I mean, we've talked about it, but we have a lot that we want to do before any of that. Like, he does music. I'm doing YouTube. I already have one daughter. Um, and we're trying to move. If we sit down and have a baby here in Alabama, it's just going to hold us back. It's going to keep us here longer. And that's not what we want to do right now. But, I mean, I don't know. We're not having no kids right now. <laughs> Do you and Neil want your future, futures to look like? Um, we want, not even be rich, like, but we want to be, get big. Like, I want to get big on YouTube, he wants to get big in his music. So, we both want the same thing and do the exact same thing. It's just, he does music and I do YouTube. But we both, on the computer all the time, both, he's making his beats, making his music. And I'm either making a video or trying to figure out which videos I want to make or I'm on live. So, I don't know. We, we both just want to get up there. And we're trying to get to the top and we're not going to stop until we get there. So, how did you and Neil meet? I have a video, a whole video on that. Do you like to give or receive? I'm not really sure what you're talking about. <laughs> giving or receiving. But... It all depends what you're talking about, honestly. But I don't like to take anything from other people. Like, for instance, if someone gives me money or food or I don't know clothes or tries to take me somewhere to buy me something, I don't. I don't like that. Like, you can ask Neil. I don't even like him trying to buy me stuff. But if you're talking about sexual wise, I like to receive. But 
I mean, both. <laughs> this is awkward. All these baby questions and these married questions. How do you think you changed since your teenage years? Um, I've grew up because, and I, I'm not even going to say changed because I didn't change. I just grew up and realized what life is really about. And life is not about being out all night, going to parties, um, turning up, drinking, smoking. Like, life's not about that. And me growing up, that's what I realized. Mm, do you regret having Bray at such a young age? I love you. I love you too. And I definitely do not. Um, I've always wondered, like, what my life would be like if I didn't have Braylon, but never in my life would I regret Braylon. Like, I love my baby girl so much. She really saved me from death, I can say, because the way I was being a teenager, the way I was young, like, just going out, doing whatever I wanted to do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, like, I had a curfew. Like, my mom gave me a curfew, but... Between the time I went out and my curfew, like, I was turned up. Like, my mom's had to, we've gotten pulled over. I've never been um, pulled over while I've been driving. Well, except for my radio, but I didn't get a ticket or anything. But I got pulled over with people in the car. There was beer, alcohol in the car. My mom happened to come get me at 3.30 in the morning, which I was going to be home that night before my curfew. But I got when we got pulled over... The police had us out there for hours. Like, we got pulled over at, like, 12-something. I don't know. And I had to be home at, like, 12.30. But we were out there for hours. Like, it was crazy. As far as regretting Braylon, that's a definite no. Um, she, like, when I had Braylon, I realized how to be a mom. Like, I don't know. Because some people, some young people will have kids and not even know what to do. Like, people will have kids and not even want them. People will have kids and just throw them off or just give them to somebody. And with me, when I had Braylon, um, don't get me wrong, we still, me and Braxton still went out um, on certain days, like on the weekends. Not every single weekend, but we did go places. Um, and when you have a child, your life does not completely stop. It slows down, but it does not stop. You can still go out with your friends. You can still go do stuff, you can still go drink, um, go to the bar, but if someone's watching your child, don't be like these dumbass people, like somebody today, my mom sent me the news article, someone down the street from where I'm at right now, um, two, it was I guess a husband and a wife, and there were two kids in the back, but they were stopped in the middle of the road, the two kids, I mean the two kids, the two grown people were slumped over like fucked up off drugs. And the two kids were just in the back seat. And, like, I don't know. Like, people are so stupid, y'all. Like, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. If you're 21, go drink and have fun. But do it safely. Like, take an Uber if you drive. If you're, dri if you're riding with somebody, don't let them drink and drive. Like, you have to be smart. You can't be stupid. And I know you're going to sit here and say, well, you let Neil drink and drive. No, 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 no. Like, if I knew that Neil was completely fucked up when he when I let him drive then I wouldn't let him drive but when me and Neil are both out and I'm and I'm drinking I get way 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 more fucked up than he does so he's not gonna let me drive and he doesn't get fucked up like I do like he's normal when he's drunk so don't get on my ass about that but let me get back into the video to the, what I'm really doing this video about Hi Haley, my question is if there's one wish you can have, what would it be? You're one of my favorite YouTubers, I love you and Bray. I love you too. And it says your brother is so funny, he always has me cracking up, lol. One wish I could have would be for Braylon to have her daddy. That's the only wish I would have. Like, that's the only thing. I plan on having any more kids in the future. What time do you think a person should get their first tattoo? When you really know what you want and your parents approve. I mean, I took my brother to get his first tattoo when he was 15 for his birthday. So, I mean, it all depends. Like, don't go and get something stupid. Don't go and get something for free because people who do free tattoos suck. Their, their lining sucks. Their handwriting sucks. Like, everything sucks about a whole like a free tattoo a cheap tattoo um 
don't go for no cheap tattoos. I really, 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 really suggest you go to a tattoo shop. Gotta go and make this money, don't let this money make you. And keep that shit 100 with me.